here at home, a man from Great Falls has family ties generations back to famed Western artist Charles Russell. MTN's Casey Herman talks with John Stephenson, uh, Stephenson Love, excuse me, about those ties in his new book, Growing Up with Russell. Three generations of Stevensons. I was born in Great Falls. My dad was born in Great Falls. My grandfather came here in 1892. His grandfather, who was here the same time as one of Montana's most famous artists. Charlie Russell's always been something, a topic of conversation. Several generations of Stevenson's. Grandfather Sam knew Charlie. Now, all those years later, John Stevenson Love recounts this through a book. The book has uh, nine chapters. Eight of them are what I call historical accounts. All of these stories in the book, going up, Growing Up with Russell, one or more Stevensons is a participant in one. One chapter explaining how his family came to own some of Charlie's paintings. So one of the stories in my book is the Silver Dollar Saloon art collection. The Silver Dollar Saloon was home to many of Charlie's pieces. But when Prohibition hit Montana in 1918, the paintings that hung and the silver dollar had been taken down. My grandfather, who was president of First National Bank of Great Falls, convinced the board of directors buying, quotes, all of the art, all of the paintings that hung in the silver dollar. Bank bought 11 oil paintings. My grandfather bought four watercolors for himself. And one of those four paintings, John picked as the cover of Growing Up with Russell. His last chance or bust. In a sense, I grew up with this painting. The association with Russell has added a rich dimension, not only my life, but the life of the family. Reporting in Great Falls, Casey Herman, MTN News. Thanks, Casey. Well, up next in your weather forecast, we are tracking a cold front today that's going to drop those temperatures a little bit and increase the chances of a rain snow mix. 35 right now, cloudy skies in Great Falls. As for what we're tracking, that system moves through today, likely a rain snow mixture, primarily rain for central Montana. Impacts are pretty minimal, though. 35 as you're heading out to the bus stop this morning. A few showers are likely throughout the area and a little bit chilly in the capital at 34 degrees and cloudy skies. Your complete forecast is after the break. I've never been like the other kids. I chased the shadows. And Horseshoe Bay had a lot of them. I believe in looking for the truth. Nancy Drew, new series Wednesday, October 9th, only on The CW. Nancy Drew premieres Wednesday, October 9th on CW Montana. Imagine income for life, saving money on your taxes. And helping troubled children. Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch Foundation gift annuities generate lifetime income with payout rates as high as 9.5%. And gift annuities qualify for the 40% Montana Endowment Tax Credit. Generating state and federal tax savings for Yellowstone donors. Contact Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch Foundation today. Or visit us online at yellowstonefoundation.org. If you're looking for small town values but big city choices, visit historic Fort Benton and see what a difference we can make. Jim Taylor Motors, Fort Benton. Changing the auto industry one person at a time. Mark your calendar for October 6th because this is a running relay road race that you won't want to miss. It's 28 miles of beautiful Montana frontage road running through the Wolf Creek Canyon. Put together a four-person, two-person, or solo team. Participants receive a WCCR tech shirt and priceless memories of love, sweat, and bears. Slower teams start at 8 a.m. and faster teams start at 9 a.m. Plus, if you want only a mile jaunt, we do have a herd of turtles division. The race starts on the frontage road six miles south of the town of Wolf Creek. Go online for information and register today. Gardner's RV is having a huge liquidation sale. We're clearing out all our rental returns, new and used RVs, and cargo utility and equipment trailers, all with Gardner's lifetime warranty. Save over $11,000 on this Jayco travel trailer with slide out. Over 600 RVs and trailers, all on sale. Hurry in now for the best selection during the huge liquidation sale.
Farm Tracker Weather is sponsored by Gardner's RV and Trailer Center. Now, here's your Storm Tracker Weather Forecast with Jason Laird. Welcome back and thanks for waking up, up with us on this TGI Friday morning. 616 now, looking at 35 degrees in Great Falls, 37 in Helena. A few isolated showers already making their way over the mountains, all thanks to a cold front that's going to slide through the region today. Associated area of low pressure will help to draw some of that Pacific moisture across the mountains. Likely a rain snow mix for most of central Montana. We should stay fairly dry around Great Falls. Lewistown will see a little bit better chance of that moisture. It's really going to be in southwestern Montana that we do see some of snow accumulation, likely above 5,000 feet or so. That cold front's going to be well out of the region by tonight. Still some lingering cold air, though. As for the precipitation that we are expecting, forecast models not really showing much for Great Falls and Helena, but I would say about a tenth of an inch, not out of the question. Really, the biggest impacts are going to be in southwestern Montana. A little bit of snow accumulation likely there. Today's high temperatures a little bit cooler due to that cold front. We'll see about 51 degrees in Great Falls. 50 in the capital and mid to high 50s in northeastern and eastern Montana. Then tonight, pretty on track with where we were last night. 32 in Cutbank. Great Falls should be about 35 as well. And here in the capital at 36, a few 30s and even 40s in eastern Montana for overnight lows. Tomorrow for your Saturday, likely going to start out with a kind of heavy cloud cover, a couple isolated showers, rain, snow mix. Not out of the question through the noon hour tomorrow, but that should burn off by the afternoon, all thanks to a high pressure pressure ridge that's going to take this system and move it out of the area late Saturday into Sunday. That's going to allow for slightly warmer temperatures on Saturday. They're going to continue to rise though as the weekend rolls around 53 in Great Falls, 53 as well in the capital and upper 50s in northeastern Montana. Now, long story short, Saturday, Sunday, as this high pressure ridge builds in, could be a little bit breezy, maybe even windy at times. 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, not out of the question once this high pressure ridge builds in. That's going to really amplify on Monday, allowing for temperatures to bump back above average, likely looking at the mid to high 60s, believe it or not, Monday into Tuesday. That system by Tuesday, though, is going to start to move out. Ridge is going to flatten, likely going to get a little bit breezy again as our next weather maker moves in. That's going to impact most of central Montana on Wednesday, ushering up the rain snow mixture again as that system settles in. So over the next seven days, here's what we're tracking. Cold front today. Rain likely through Saturday mid morning or so. More sun though on Sunday. 57 degrees warmer on Monday at 67 beautiful degrees. Get out and enjoy that. Here in the capital, 50 degrees today as that cold front slides through. Spotty rain likely continues on Saturday morning. More sunshine though. 58 on Sunday and the mid 60s to take us into the first part of this next week. Keely. Thanks, Jason. It's now 620 and coming up next on Montana this morning. Toys are coming back to downtown Great Falls. We take you inside before this weekend's grand opening next. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up on the all new Court TV. I'm Vinnie Politan today on Court TV. A brand new trial, Florida versus Jimmy Rogers. It's actually a death penalty case. Prosecutors say that Rogers was hired by a doctor's husband to murder his wife, Dr. Teresa Seavers. We are in jury selection right now, which is a, an, a really detailed process where every juror must be death penalty qualified. They must be able to administer the death penalty if they believe the case has been proven. Once again, we are live in Florida today on Court TV. Watch Court TV on our MTN affiliates, KTVH channel 12.4 and KTGF channel 50.3. The Great Falls ICAM is sponsored by U.S. Bank. Today on Medical Montana, I'm back in Haver at the Bull Hook Community Health Center. I'm meeting with the dental professionals today. It's good to meet you folks. Craig, I want to start with you today because you're the dentist. I want to ask you uh, about your practice here because I think a lot of people uh, may not be familiar with the fact that Bull Hook provides dentistry. Have you got a few patients? Oh, we sure do. Yeah, we do. Um, exams, we try to get new folks in, you know, keep, uh, keep regulars in the system, cleanings, uh, restorative fillings, crowns. Wow. Try to help folks out with dentures when they need it. So really, you have a, a real broad uh, offering there. A family type practice. Yeah. 
but also pediatrics? Sure. Yeah. One-year-olds earlier today? No kidding. And does Elizabeth help with this? Of course she does. <laughs> if it weren't for Elizabeth, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> What's your role, Elizabeth? Um, I am the manager in the dental clinic. Okay. So when I come up to get my teeth cleaned, I'm going to see you at some point. You will, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, tell me about uh, some of the patients that you're seeing, especially the new ones. So we encourage um, children to be seen uh, as early as, as soon as they have teeth. Um, so, the infant. Yeah. And Very all, important. All the way up through life and try to establish those. Um, those good dental habits. Yeah, really. the dental habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Um, tell me about um, insurance, and also I want you to mention about the fee schedule. Okay. We do, um, we accept all insurances. We accept Medicaid, and um, we have a sliding fee scale discount option. Mm -hmm. It's based on family, um, household income, and size. Oh, very nice. Patients are able to apply. That's really encouraging for folks. I know there's, I, I know people who avoid the dentist, and not just because it can be uncomfortable, but because of financial concerns. Great, wonderful. And you're taking new patients? We sure do. Good news. Once again, thanks for joining us here at Medical Montana. Be sure and see future segments for more answers to your medical questions. With Furniture Row Employee Pricing, you pay what we pay. Right now, our employee pricing is available to everyone. Get 15% off a single item when you spend $9.99 or more. Plus, no interest until January 2022. Employee Pricing, on now at Furniture Row. Gardner's RV is having a huge liquidation sale. We're clearing out all our rental returns, new and used RVs, and cargo utility and equipment trailers. All with Gardner's Lifetime Warranty. Save over $11,000 on this Jayco travel trailer with slide out. Over 600 RVs and trailers all on sale. Hurry in now for the best selection during the huge liquidation sale. For the 18th year, Town Pump is supporting food banks across Montana, including mine here in the Flathead Valley. For every dollar you donate at our stores, Town Pump will match up to $750,000 statewide. Or you can give directly to your local participating food bank, and that donation will also be matched. With your help, Town Pump and its food bank partners hope to raise $3 million through November 30th to help our hungry neighbors. Please donate today at any Town Pump store, hotel, casino, or local food bank. Be a friend indeed. Help those in need. The Mighty Three has been known to move mountains, has been seen giving wild brush and tall grass the what for, and is not afraid to level a gravel driveway and finish a surface. The cab with heat and AC is not faint of heart either. You don't have an off season, neither do we. Stop by our dealership for special offers taking place for a limited time. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. With employee pricing at Denver Mattress, you pay what we pay. For a limited time, get 15% off a single Denver Mattress brand product when you spend $9.99 or more. Plus, no interest until January 2022. Employee pricing, on now at Denver Mattress. Powered by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. And welcome back to Montana this morning. The time now is 626 on this Friday and the weekend is just a day away, thankfully. And kids of all ages will get to relive their childhoods as a new toy store opens its doors downtown tomorrow. Now, downtown Dice and Games owners say that they have expanded, rebranded, and are now ready for business. We were able to get a sneak peek of the new Let's Play Games and Toys before Saturday's grand opening. Ladies first. Well, thank you, yeah. Jason. Hi guys, welcome. Hey, hey time to relive our childhood here. Woo. Downtown's been missing a toy store. Nope. Uh, she wrecked it. Oh! <laughs> I am Jeffrey the Trail. Oh, wow. A couple years ago, Amazing Toys shut down. Uh, they're right across the street from us. So when they shut down, a lot of people were pretty upset about it. And you know, we were told, hey, you guys should do toys too. So. Keely is not going to be able to get this off of her finger. <laughs> Holy 
cow. No, no, no. We tried to buy Amazing Toys, actually, and we got a lot of his, you know, uh, market research and stuff. And man, if we could only do half of what he did, we'll be doing pretty good. This is that you hit it with a. Uh, you know, we anticipate uh, people being pretty happy that we're down here. Uh, toys have come back down to downtown. Come on down. <laughs> now, what you guys didn't see was Jason <laughs> shooting me with those rubber band guns. I did no such thing. <laughs> Maybe just that once. That is not In accurate. Passing. The grand opening, as you can see on your screen, is from 10 to 10 tomorrow, and then normal hours following Saturday. Of course, their phone number's listed on the screen, and it should be a really uh, good day to go shopping downtown. Yeah. Hopefully a little bit warmer. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Saturday will be a little bit cool still, but it's going to oh, look okay. a lot nicer on Sunday. Sure. Um, so maybe yeah. a stocking cap, some mittens. Yeah, there you go, a little yeah. extra coat or something. Yeah. But yeah, not a bad weekend. Check it out. And and to be honest, uh, we were asked nicely to leave after that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're but having to remodel a, the remodel. Right, exactly. After. They. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was a pretty extensive cleanup process after after we were there, but uh, no, one's, tracking no one was harmed in the process. <laughs> right, so. Yeah, no stuffed Disclaimer. animals were harmed in the process of that uh, <laughs> that video. Uh, tracking a cold front today, rain snow mixture throughout the area as you're heading out to the bus stop 35. A couple of showers likely around Gray Falls. Same story for the capital at 34 degrees. Not a bad one. Temperatures over the next couple of days trending toward average, uh, regaining some serious strength on Sunday into Monday. 67. Go figures, right, as we're heading back to work is when we're going to see this uh, mid to high 60s throughout the area. 50s and then 65 in the capital on Monday. All right, gradually warming up. Well, there's more news ahead. Montana This Morning continues now for a short break. At Eklund's, we really want to thank all the great customers we've had over the years, which is why we're having our customer appreciation sale Sunday, October 6th. Our KitchenAid and Maytag rep will be on hand to provide additional rebates for his kitchen appliances. Plus, these kitchens still qualify for manufacturer rebates for even more savings. And the first five customers to purchase this KitchenAid special will receive a free KitchenAid stand mixer. And enter to win this Maytag laundry set. Plus, everything in the store is on sale. And remember, you're not done shopping until you've been to Eklund's. With employee pricing at Denver Mattress, you pay what we pay. Backed by popular demand, our employee discount is available to everyone for a limited time. Get 15% off a single Denver Mattress brand product when you spend $9.99 or more. And with our 365-night better sleep guarantee, you'll rest easy knowing you're getting the right mattress. Plus, no interest financing until January 2022. You pay what we pay with Denver Mattress employee pricing. Available now for everyone. I really wish I had a new truck. Do you want a brand new truck? Stop your daydreaming and get your raffle tickets now. The Great Falls Public Schools Foundation is raffling a brand new 2020 Toyota Tacoma, donated by City Motors. Tickets are only $10. Proceeds from programs and resources for students in our schools. The second place winner gets a $1,000 gift card donated by North 40. Purchase your $10 ticket for a chance to win and support our schools. It's 6.30 on this Friday morning and happening now. The Casca County Sheriff's Office is on a mission for man's best friend. We talk with officials about their efforts to bring back a canine unit. Plus, climbing for a cause, area firefighters look to reach new heights in the battle against deadly diseases. And the campaign trail is heating up as a fourth person says she'll give the gubernatorial race a go. Why she thinks she's the best option to lead the state. Montana This Morning starts now. Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is Montana This Morning from Montana's News Leader. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Keely Van Mittendorf. I'm Jason Laird. Still a little bit chilly this morning, but hope in sight as we near the weekend. We just got to get past yeah. this cold front this really? morning. We just got to get past the weekend almost. Right, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Yeah, that, the Monday warm looking Monday. nice. Yeah. yeah, well, if we're not here Monday, <laughs> that will explain we, you know it right why. there. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. A day of golf or something like that. 35 degrees this morning in Gray Falls, 37 in the capital, warmer in eastern Montana in the 40s. So today's system, cold front, a uh, little bit quicker moving than what I had anticipated yesterday, but starting to break in northwestern Montana. That's going to keep things a little bit cooler today. Plus, offer up a wintry mix, some mountain snow, but the good news is we're looking warmer this weekend. I'll let you know when that warm-up is anticipated to move in and how nice we're getting very shortly, Keely. 
Thanks, Jason. We'll check back in with you in Storm Tracker weather. Few details are being released this morning after a man's body was found on the Rocky Boys Reservation. That happened last Thursday. The FBI, Rocky Boy Police Department, and the Chippewa Cree Tribal Criminal Investigations Department continue to investigate. Authorities have not yet released the identity of the man, nor whether they have identified any suspects in the case. This is a developing story, and we will continue to update you as we learn more. In federal court Thursday, a retired Great Falls priest heard his sentence after pleading guilty to receipt of child pornography. 81-year-old Lothar Conrad Krauth admitted to receiving child pornography on his computer. Back in October of 2018, Homeland Security and Great Falls Police executed a search warrant at Krauth's home. They seized 20 electronic items with images of child pornography. He was sentenced yesterday to five years in prison and five years supervised release. Judge Brian Morris also ordered $9,000 in restitution. And staying in Cascade County years ago, Cascade County was home to an elite canine academy in Montana. Now Sheriff Jesse Slaughter wants to revive the program. He believes the dogs can help combat community drug problems. The canines will also be trained in tracking. With the support of the community, Slaughter was able to secure the first security dog for Cascade County this past August. And a second companion is in the works. The Cascade County Citizens Academy was inspired by Slaughter's mission to bring the dogs back and are now raising funds for more canines. The, the dogs just bring a bunch of tools to us that really help, and then not to mention the community outreach portion. Everybody likes dogs. And Slaughter says the first canine and handler team should be working at the sheriff's office by next month. Well, this March, dozens of firefighters from across Montana will head to Seattle to climb the city's tallest building. MTN's Jacob Fuhrer reports the fundraising has already begun for the 29th Annual Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Stair Climb. About once every three minutes, one person in the United States will be diagnosed with blood cancer. Oh, yes. For Fire Chief yep. Troy Manis, so that statistic is personal. My daughter-in-law actually is a childhood survivor of, of leukemia. And I've had multiple friends over the years that have passed away from leukemia. With the victims and survivors in mind, Manis and thousands of other firefighters will head to Seattle to climb the city's tallest building, 69 flights wearing more than 60 pounds of gear. This is just a small feat compared to what, what blood cancer patients are going through. Manus says this year, 2,100 firefighters are taking part more than ever before. 31 of those teams are from Montana. It's a great honor for us to be going up and, and, uh, and doing this and climbing in, in their honor. While the climb can be grueling, firefighters often train year-round to do it. Manus says with each step, he keeps the goal in mind. We tell ourselves is, is why we're doing it and who we're doing it for. Raising money and helping the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the world's largest health agency dedicated to blood cancer. Last year, um, Montana teams raised, raised almost $100,000. I'd like to see the Montana teams really, really kick it up a notch and, and, uh, and, and surpass that. Every one of the firefighters participating pledges at least $300, and Manus says you'll start to see firefighters raising money in the community. You may see us at the local grocery stores like Walmart or Super One, uh, Albertsons, stuff like that. Each year, donations have gone up, and as this year's statewide ambassador for the stair climb, Manus said he hopes this year will be no different. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. And on the campaign trail, Missoula businesswoman Whitney Williams announced her campaign for governor of Montana Thursday. This makes her the fourth Democrat to enter the governor's race, which includes Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney, State Representative Casey Schreiner, and former State Representative Riley Neal. Williams is the CEO of Williams Works, which provides strategic services to corporate, nonprofit, and philanthropic clients. The sixth generation Montana is running on a platform of protecting public lands and investing in small town Montana. She says she has the best chance of defeating Congressman Dre uh, Greg Gianforte. Ultimately, I believe that you know some folks are being left behind, especially in rural communities and, and small towns, and I think, uh, I think Montanans care about that. Williams is the daughter of the former Montana Senate Majority Leader Carol Williams and former Congressman Pat Williams, Montana's longest serving congressman. She also worked in the Clinton White House and Hillary Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign. 
The time now is 6.36 and coming up next. Law enforcement had to deal with three moose who made an unexpected visit to the Walmart. Well, thankfully no moose in your forecast, <laughs> but we are tracking a chance of uh, rain today and maybe even a little bit of snow. Dry through Tuesday, then another chance rolls in on Wednesday, waking up to 35 degrees in Great Falls, 37 in the capital. A couple of showers already kicking off here. We'll have more on that incoming cold front and what you can expect very shortly. News, sports, weather, push notifications to keep you up to date. Stay connected with North Central Montana on your mobile device. Download the KRTV app today. Available on Google Play and the App Store. I've never been like the other kids. I chased the shadows. And Horseshoe Bay had a lot of them. I believe in looking for the truth. Nancy Drew, new series Wednesday, October 9th, only on the CW. Nancy Drew premieres Wednesday, October 9th on CW Montana. We are Montana Credit Union. We live here, work here, and play here. It's why our credit union is known as the place to bank. We believe that character and strong values still matter. At Montana Credit Union, we believe our members are everything. And in giving them the latest financial products and services. We believe in honesty in every interaction. And giving you the tools and direction to help you reach financial success. Because at Montana Credit Union, we're guiding you ahead. Visit MontanaCU.com to learn how. At Carroll College, we're pretty good with numbers. That's thanks in part to our Master of Accountancy degree, a new hybrid online program that you can complete in as little as a year. A MAC degree could lead to a job in forensics, tax solutions, business advising, and more. The accounting field is stable, pays well, and is growing fast. And Carroll's program is built to help you get your CPA, skyrocketing your earning potential. Do those numbers look good to you? Learn more at www.carroll.edu slash MACC. Powered by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. And welcome back to Montana This Morning. The time now is 640 on this Friday. Well, the governor's Grizzly Bear Advisory Council met for the first time Thursday in East Helena. Governor Steve Bullock established the 18-member advisory council to help the state set a long-term plan for management and conservation of the species. Now, over the next two days, they will put together an action plan for what they'll be working on for the next year, and that includes maintaining a healthy bear population, improving responses to human-bear conflicts, and interagency cooperation operation on grizzly bear management. We've pushed them towards the mountains, but they're expanding back into their historic ranges. And so coming to terms with there are more bear human interactions as our populations increase in rural areas and their populations are increasing. You know, the populations, both humans and bears, are increasing quite substantially in the state. And uh, conflicts are obviously going to arise. And so how we can manage the bears and manage the people, uh, educate the people, and uh, both live in a beautiful landscape together. In 2018, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service removed protections for grizzly bears living outside Yellowstone National Park. Their protection was later restored by a U.S. District Court decision. There is an estimated over 1,000 grizzlies living in the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem. And new this morning, officials with the State Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks confirmed that wardens had to put down a black bear last week in Big Sky. Wardens here say that the bear had a history dating back to just several weeks ago in the middle of September. In that time, they say the female had more than 10 run-ins with the law. Wardens say in one week, the bear was seen sitting just outside the door to the Galton County Sheriff's Office and wouldn't move until deputies fired rubber slugs at it. Before that, wardens added that the bear was seen on Curly Bear Road near Holmes, breaking into garage uh, garbage cans and opening garages. The bear also made it inside the Wilson Hotel's automatic doors and in one instance stole a pizza off a woman's plate She says uh, while she was sitting outside of the Blue Moon Bakery. Now, according to wardens, that behavior was enough to uh, believe that the bear had become habitualized with humans, so investigators caught the bear last week and put it down. It's an unfortunate uh, outcome, um, but an all too common outcome. Uh, we, uh, we need to learn to, to, to reduce uh, conflicts with bears, especially by securing these potential attractants and uh, keeping these bears wild and healthy, which is what we want to see. 
FWP wardens say Big Sky area residents can get bear resistance, uh, resistant garbage cans to keep inside regular cans. They add that there have already been strides in doing this through an initiative called Bear Smart Big Sky. Meanwhile in Butte, a family of moose was seen wandering around town. MTN's John Amy tracked them down yesterday and has that story. A moose family, including a bull, cow, and calf, were running loose in Butte near Walmart and a very busy Harrison Avenue. The unexpected visitors drew quite a crowd. Really different, you know, didn't 